The jury in the capital murder trial of accused a cop killer Marco Perez hearing from the defendant today on video. Yeah, that video from the hour long questioning of Perez by investigators after he was arrested in connection with the shooting death of MPD officer Sean Tudor. This will probably be the jury's only opportunity to hear Perez's side of the story, since it's very rare for defendants in a murder trial to testify. Our Brendan Kirby is now in the news center with more on this situation. Brendan, some chilling words from Perez. Yeah, that's right, Lenny and Byron. He gave conflicting explanations of the 2019 shooting, at times telling detectives that he didn't remember, and at one point saying that voices in his head told him to shoot. Police grilled Marco Antonio Perez for nearly an hour on January 20th, 2019, the day Officer Sean Tudor died from gunshot wounds at the Peach Place Inn Apartments off of Leroy Stevens Road. I don't know why I did what I did, Perez says at one point. At another point, he says, the voices told me in my head to pull the trigger. According to previous testimony, Officer Tudor drove to the apartment complex that Sunday afternoon after getting a tip that Perez was there. Police had been trying to arrest him on a federal warrant for several days. The officer arrived in his personal car wearing civilian clothes. Perez insisted to detectives that he didn't know Tudor was an officer, that all he knew was a strange man with a gun was coming at him. He didn't say nothing, not that I remember. I just seen the gun. I didn't know who the expletive he was. He didn't identify himself. Perez told detectives that he didn't remember firing more than once. He said he remembered shooting, picking the clip up, and then running toward the woods. In fact, according to testimony Thursday from an emergency room doctor, Officer Tudor had been shot three times in the head, chest, and hand. Dr. Ashwini Shah testified that he tried for 20 minutes to revive Officer Tudor at Providence Hospital before pronouncing him dead. Jurors also got to see pictures from Perez's Snapchat account of a stolen car and gun, and they saw Officer Tudor's gun and holster. What will be decided is whether prosecutors can introduce overtime records from that day in the evidence. It supports their contention that Officer Tudor was on duty, an aggravating factor that could make this capital murder. The defense objects since prosecutors didn't disclose those records before this week. Prosecutor Ashley Rich told the judge today that she expects to rest her case on Monday. That could mean closing arguments on Tuesday. Reporting live from the News Center, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.